Too much products, too few buyers. That's what the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology, or MIT, warned of Thursday during a press conference in Beijing. As China News shows you, the steel, cement, and glass sectors are running at an overcapacity. Certain industries in China are facing a problem. Boosted by government fiscal policies, Jia Insong, inspector of the raw materials division under the MIT, says production has expanded faster than demand. The steel, cement, and flat glass sectors are all over capacity and creating price fluctuations. MIT figures show. China's steel industry, for example, produced 660 million tons by the end of 2008. By October, excess capacity in the sector had reached 200 million tons, with another 58 million under construction. The cement sector also has huge excess capacity. So much, in fact, Jia says about 27 percent of the country's cement sector is obsolete. An abundance of the product is a direct result of increased investment in those sectors, as part of the stimulus package to buoy the economy during the financial crisis. Jia says in just the first 10 months of this year, investment in the cement industry grew 64 percent, flat glass investment grew by 35.3 percent, and steel by 3.8 percent year on year. It demonstrates that our policies to deal with international financial crises are timely, and policy originations for revitalization strategies of key industries are on the right track. Measures to maintain growth, expand domestic demand, and readjust structures are effective. To fix the situation of overcapacity, Jia said the government would push forward mergers and acquisitions in the steel sector to increase industrial concentration. Xiong added that projects involving new capacity building or expansion in the steel industry would be refused approval and support by the government.